I know you're going, not again. Moira, number three. This is yet another opportunity in the same contract to read about the network. You see, Medicare doesn't have networks. Like I said, 96% of the doctors in America accept Medicare. The Edna Medicare Advantage plan has network provisions. Here's yet another clause. Out of network providers. What does that mean? Not every doctor in America accepts Aetna. So please stop saying that if the doctor accepts Medicare, they must accept this plan. That is a lie. This is page, um, let me get you a page number. This is page four um, of the agreement. And this says out of network providers. If a member's provider does not participate in the Aetna Medicare network, out of network provider, but the provider is willing to accept the Medicare Advantage PPO ESA plan and is eligible to participate in Medicare, the member can receive medical services covered under the plan, covered services, from the out-of-network provider. If a member chooses to receive covered services from an out-of-network provider that does not accept the plan and bills the member directly for covered services, the member's evidence of coverage describes the requirements and processes that apply for seeking reimbursement from Aetna. Consistent with the member's EOC, Aetna will reimburse a member for Aetna's share of the cost for covered services received from an out-of-network provider if the provider is eligible to participate in Medicare. If the out-of-network provider is not eligible to participate in Medicare, the member will generally be responsible for the full cost of services he or she receives. Now, there are very few doctors that don't accept Medicare, right? But here's the deal. If you see a doctor that refuses to accept, is it's not in the Aetna network, and refuses to accept the plan for payment, you have to submit the bill yourself. And when you do that, you are asking Aetna basically for a medical necessity determination. And if they don't determine it to be medically necessary, you are on the hook for the whole bill. Now, Moira, as I understand, a large number of DC-37 employees and retirees don't make a lot of money. And I could tell you because I'm one of them. But clearly, the people that you were speaking to tonight make a heck of a lot less. And when you're talking about them only getting like an 8 or 12, 12 cent raise or 50 cent raise, that is absolutely despicable. So now you're going to put them in a situation where they're going to have to pay for their doctor's bill and submit it for reimbursement. This plan is not traditional Medicare. I don't know how many more times I need to say it, but I think three videos in one night should be enough to get the point across to you. You need to read the contract and stop saying what you're saying because you're, mis you're misinforming the people that count on you to tell the truth. The Aetna documents are all on OLR's website. Go and read them yourself. Trust me. I have no reason to lie to you. I've been doing this for several years. And I know the difference between traditional Medicare with a supplement and Medicare Advantage. You can go on saying that this plan is custom and it's wonderful, but it's really not. And I don't know who you're trying to convince, but it's definitely not us.